hello the very few people who watch this this is uh, take two this is gonna hopefully be quicker than you know than I would like to do but all right I'm here with my friend Joey or as he is also known as on the YouTube's reptile journey he's got a Knowles and a bearded dragon so like yeah you should check him out because I don't know nothing about a Knowles but obviously I have two bearded dragons so if you want info on that definitely check it out I'll probably be doing a video not gonna say soon but in the future in general on people who have lizards that I don't have like reptiles that I don't asking like sort of beginner questions for people who don't own the lizards so that way it's kind of like you know just inter interviewing people on their lizards and learning about what they've spent the time to learn anyway I have a new plant and a new friend that's right this is I was hoping I hoping Petco would give a smaller container but no no dice so instead of letting him crawl out on his own I might just put him in there myself, put him in the in an open patch of area and let him find a place to hide on his own. But, so yeah, um, I'm going to have Joey hold my phone, hold the phone, while I stick the new plant in here. It's not like it's going to be some world-shattering new addition, so don't... Oh, I forgot about this plastic piece in here. Watch, it's going to rip the plant off. Oh no, wow, it just came right out. Sweet. This thing this came, came out like easily. Usually these things fight with me. But here, you know, I actually, I don't know if I should show, you know what, yeah, I don't think it's, actually that might be a problem because it has like my personal info on it. I'm gonna miss the tank a little more. Uh, quick update before I finish all this. I have not done the bridge for I do not have fishing line to secure, uh, Joey, pull, hold the thing up here for a second. Don't have fishing line to secure uh, the plant up here. What I'm going to do, bring it closer, is I'm going to probably lift this up, make a loop with some fishing line, just hold it up, hold this piece up like this. So that way there's still some stuff draping down here, but there's also a piece that's connecting here, so that way it's still some vertical movement room. There's going to be more plants added or shifted around in the future, but for right now, this is how it's going to stay for a while, because i got to get this little this little fella used to things. So, oh, I forgot to grab a dish for food. I could probably do that later, though. Or grab a container to feed him. Because I grabbed the actual food. Let me show you what I got. This stuff. Pashy. Pashy. When, when I make my first bowl of the, uh, for the food, it's probably going to be in a day or two when I actually feed this guy for the first time. Because he's really plump. But at the same time, he's also in a, he's going to be in a new environment. Therefore, he's not going to be very reluctant. He's going to be quite reluctant to eat for a little while. But so yeah, when I I'm I'm going to have to grab a container. I may actually take another one of my many Tupperware containers that I'm not using and like this, and I might cut it to here or maybe even like to this weird little line right here use tape or something to make it softer and to just stick it in there or something uh, i don't know or i might just grab a small dish that they have at pet stores for like two bucks mean, one of those small little dishes have you ever seen like a uh, reptile wedge he sells like things that go to the side. yeah i don't have the money to buy one of those though I'm, oh, just yeah. buying, I'm just buying something temporarily i know for an adult i'm gonna need that because the adult's gonna need the f the floor room to move around I may have to also upgrade the humid hide or just make the entrance wider when this guy gets bigger. But that shouldn't be for a while because <laughs> these guys live for quite a long time. So I assume that they don't mature super quickly. But apparently this tank is supposed to be good enough for an adult. So things will probably be changed out in the future. I may reduce how much of the soil that's in there, the substrate. I may reduce how much I have in there yeah, in the future for future use. Or I might just completely change things around, but this is the this is the tank that I need in general for an adult. Because babies, I'm gonna pick this little guy up. Let's see if he's gonna try getting away from me or not. Yeah, come here. Oh, he made a noise. I didn't hear him. Come here. Come here. Come here. Here, let's see if we can get him to climb into his own into his new home. Look at him. Look at him. You got that, Joey? Look at him. Is he gonna hop? This is the one that I've been holding 
periodically for the past few weeks. I've been checking, I've been going to the pet stores and actually like holding it. The other one was kind of in a rock, so couldn't get him out easily. But this is the one that I've been actually like interacting with. This is the one I've been wanting. I feel bonded with this little one, but he made a noise. They make noises, it's so cute. Albeit it was an upset noise, but. Let's see if I can, oh, there he is. And he is in his new home. He's gonna find somewhere to hide. He's gonna find somewhere to hide and call home. Temperatures are looking good in here. Temperatures are looking good, although I may...